Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Leanna Brinder, Business Editor for the International Business Times. Joining me now is Mark Dannett. He's the Naval Director at GE Power Conversion. So hi, thanks for joining us today. Good afternoon, Leanna. Great. So um, it's exciting news about the T26 today. And um, it'll be great to, um, first of all, get an overview on how GE Power Conversion feeds into that supply chain. Well, GE Power Conversion is an electrical engineering company and we operate a lot in the marine environment, not just Navy but offshore uh, and merchant fleets as well. So we've got a big heritage in terms of supplying ships, uh, electrical equipment to the marine industry. Um, the Navy market is quite specialised. Uh, we've been supplying the Navy market for, um, in, in recent times, over 30 years. Uh, we started off with a Type 23 frigate uh, electric motors about 25 years ago. Uh, so the Type 23 was the predecessor to the Type 26 that we've been talking about today. Uh, yes, very exciting news that we've got the uh, motors and the converters for the Type 26 frigate. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, completing the design phase and getting into the production phase uh, later on this year for that equipment. Okay, and um, in terms of the um, T26, there's obviously a lot of supplies feeding into it. So can you tell us a bit about um, the maybe length and the process in terms of bidding for those types of contracts? And in light of um, such a big project, how much competition there was for you? Well, there is quite a lot of competition in the naval uh, sector at, at the moment. Um, we're obviously working to uh, BAE Systems as the, uh, the main contractor uh, supplier and the shipbuilder, uh, and we were up against a number of other companies to win this, uh, this work in competition. So it was a tough job. Um, but we've got a very good heritage. Uh, as I say, we've been in the naval business for a long time. We've supplied um, electric uh, propulsion motors for most of the Navy's uh, ships um, in recent years. We've also supplied other navies as well abroad, uh, and uh, the US Navy in particular uh, in, in recent years. So, so we've got a good heritage. Um, we think we came from a good uh, pedigree uh, and a lot of experience. So in terms of um, this project, um, has it created um, maybe new jobs or units for your company? It, it's not really created new jobs, but it has maintained new jobs. Uh, there's a certain amount of security uh, associated with these motors because um, the, the ship obviously has an operational role that's uh, very critical. So they'll be built in, uh, in Rugby in Warwickshire in uh, uh, a special site that, that uh, is security cleared. Um, the motors are controlled by variable speed drives, static frequency changes, power electronics, and again that will be um, uh, built uh, in the UK uh, in our factory in Kidsgrove in Staffordshire. So it's, um, it, it's sustaining jobs and work in the UK, which I think is extremely important both for the country and for the Royal Navy as a, as a whole. Absolutely. And I mean, in terms of the wider um, industry trends, especially naval technology moving to more electrics, and of course there's the... Um, there's an electric-only warship out there. So in terms for your company, what kind of um, extra developments that you guys are working on, obviously for not just this project, but ones in the future? Well, we've been in the vanguard of, of the Navy moving to electric propulsion and electrical systems. And, and that's driven by a number of factors, but, but primarily the um, increasing use of naval systems uh, relying on electrical power and electrical energy. And in a nutshell, it helps if those systems uh, are combined with a propulsion system. So it's one set of electrical generation equipment supplying both propulsion and ship services. And that, that's the, the nub of, of the issue. Having said that, there are all sorts of other advantages as well. Electric propulsion is um, very efficient uh, uh, over a wide operating range. It's very versatile uh, and it's um, also very quiet. Uh, now, we've heard today from uh, BAE Systems that the Type 26 frigate is an anti-submarine warfare frigate. That means it's got to be quiet. It, if you produce lots of noise, then the opposition can hear you and your sensors don't work very effectively. So, by using electric motors that have got noise-reduced technology embedded within them, uh, we can make the, uh, the ship very quiet in operation and therefore very operationally effective uh, and, and hopefully better than the, the opposition. Great, and I suppose rounding off, um, looking to the next stage um, of this project, we're talking about production, manufacturing, mm. so what are the key milestones um, that you guys are working towards for this? The key milestone is really design of the variable speed drives and the motors in conjunction with BAE, 
making sure that we've fine-tuned uh, um, our design to meet their exact requirements and, and getting that right and starting the whole ship um, design process. And then hopefully into production, uh, building the motors at uh, our factory in Rugby, uh, and then in actual fact before they're installed within the ship, some testing. Uh, Part of the build contract will be to test the motors and measure their noise uh, performance. Uh, but we're also hoping that there'll be some integration testing that we'll be able to undertake at our test site um, in Leicestershire um, before uh, the contract is complete. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks, Leanne.